Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Playing Man. For my first episode of Playing Man, I want to be creating column wraps for my porch post right here. I just recently replaced my um, post right here. There are the old antique decorative posts out here, and I replaced them just with these 4x4 columns. And um, I decided I wanted to add a little bit of interest to the porch. The design of these columns will be completely my own. So I have no idea exactly what direction I'm going to take them. So for starters, I'm making my carcass or my enclosing for the wrap. And I'm making them two and a half feet long. From the bottom to two and a half feet of the post. Four four by ones and four six by ones. I got the carcasses all built, nice and snug. Next, I'm gonna cut my trim here. This is the trim I'm gonna be using. I found this really cheap, like, chair rail. It's really pretty stuff. I got it for 25 cents a foot. This is the last piece. But I'm having an issue right now. I can't get my, this is a brand new compound miter saw, and I'm, it's not cutting my trim straight. See the back of it right there? See how it kinda, like, goes off right here? What is going on? Can somebody tell me what's going on with my miter saw? So it's going to look like this. I'm going to put it right over the top like this. About that much space. Because on here I obviously don't have these perfectly flush. And I left the bottom off the ground. Just so this doesn't rot as fast. So once you're done nailing down this chair rail and filing it all uh, flush with each other, I'll probably go around here after I'm done with the whole project and uh, fill in the, these little spaces with wood filler and the holes. We're going to have to put some trim up here. So I thought about just putting some base trim up here like this around there as kind of a transition into this. And then maybe filling this little gap with a piece like this. I thought about putting like a, uh, a crown right here. This doesn't fit, I'd have to trim it and I feel like it's a bit too much. And then I thought about just putting this, and it fits on this side, but it doesn't fit on this side. It's a little bit longer than it is thick. I decided I'm just going to use this. Okay, so now I got the caps in place. They're all nailed down and filed. For my base down here, all I'm going to do is use leftover 6 by ones and make a nice, like, bulky um, base trim down here with it. And then right in the edge, I'm going to use quarter round. Okay, I got the base trim on. I added some trim screws here for added measure just to keep it nice and tight. So these are PVC trim and it's waterproof obviously and it's going to be perfect for the bottom because it's going to protect the bottom from getting water on the wood. And this right here is my reward for finishing the columns. When I'm finished, I'm going to open this up and reveal to you guys what's inside on my next video. The next step is to take one of these and rebuild one and put it up here. Alright, there's the finished crown molding up there. As you can see, I put the boards as shown in the last clip and then I added the crown molding. Looks like the neighbors like what I'm doing over here. Look at the ladies pointing over here. I thought about putting some of this, this is more PVC, and I thought about putting it right here along here like this, which is really what you're supposed to do when I did my research. Instead, I'm just going to put some L trim along the edges here like this. Now I'm going to do that on all four corners here and then uh, put it in place with some glue and nails. Well, thanks for joining me for my first video on Playing Man. 
Um, I have some other video ideas coming up. My next video is actually going to be an unboxing of a very beautiful piece of equipment. And then I'm also going to be building a railing right here. I'm going to make a video of me building this. And also I got this whole house to paint. And I'm going to do some decorative stuff up there in the gable. If you guys like what you see here, please subscribe. Um, let me know what you guys think. I also want to get your guys' opinion on the uh, l -trim. Should I put the l up here or leave it blank like this, solid on that part? We'll see you guys next time.